All right, guys, like, thank you for tuning in the channel today. If you haven't hit that like and subscribe, go ahead and hit that like button. It helps me make these videos. I'd appreciate it. So, hot topic for today, how to protect your vehicles from getting stolen. There is no way that if somebody wants something, they're going to get it, right? There is ways to help slow that process down. Um, as y'all know, in today's market, things are hard to get. Can-Ams, golf carts, pretty much anything you want to buy, trucks. And we're talking about trucks today too, right? Because I've had a couple family members that have had vehicles stolen, a couple people that I know that have had vehicles stolen. So we're covering all that today a little bit, right? Um, so I guess for me, you know, one of the easiest things that I do is on all of my vehicles is I add an Apple AirTag. These are cheap. You put them on there, they're gonna notify the person that stole the vehicle. It's gonna go off when they drive it up to their house, but you're gonna have some time before they find this to do some tracking, okay? Um, this is my secondary device. I would say this is not my primary device, right? And you do not put these devices together. You wanna to put this somewhere that's a little more obvious. I almost want them to find this one because I don't want them to find the other item, okay? Um, but when you put this in there, you're definitely gonna have some time to track it. Um, so if it gets stolen and you catch it pretty quick, you're gonna be able to get on your phone, find out where it's going and uh, be able to find. Now, possibility that this gets found, if it doesn't get found and I think after eight hours, something, Apple changes the rules, this will start dinging. And so they're gonna find it eventually, but you may have eight, eight to 10 hour window to find it. And it's gonna help you locate your whatever's missing. I like these because you know you can use these in scooters, small items like that. Um, I do put them on everything I have, tractor, trailer. I mean, they make uh, Pelican cases for these, so you can actually get sealed up Pelican cases and hide them on there. Um, it's just good to know, and you know where your stuff's at. And so that's that's like I said, that would be my secondary device. Now, as you know, in vehicles like in trucks, the minute they pop the deal off, cut the horn wire. Um, they jump in your vehicle, they can program a key. The first thing they do when they steal it is they're gonna disconnect the radio, which disconnects basically the board pass or your Uconnect or whatever, right? So whatever app you have that's gonna track that vehicle for you is gonna be, it's, gonna, it's not gonna work. And so it's gonna be up to you. And if they do that, somebody jumps in your vehicle and they disconnect that stuff, see, they're not looking for this. And so, you know, that's gonna give you a little bit more time to find it. Now, the primary device that I'll tell you to use is, and you can get, there's different brands of them. Um, a lot of times they're used on motorcycles. It's called a Monomoto, okay? It's a self-enclosed, it's got its own battery, it's not running off the power of the unit, which is good too, because a lot of times they'll buy your unit and they'll cut the battery wires or whatever if they steal it because they know that, you know, they're gonna kill the power to anything on the unit, right? And so I almost think that having the Apple AirTag, like I said, it's almost a decoy. But one of the things that I like about the Monomoto is, is I want to know when it's happening, right? I want to know the minute somebody gets on my item and tries to take it, I need notification. That's when the best time is that you're going to catch something like that happening, right? And so I want to talk about this Monomoto device today and just kind of tell you how it works. And so if you look on my golf cart, which I have the key in it right there, and you see it's got a little key fob, okay, right here. Now, I can get on this golf cart, I can jump around, drive it, whatever. And so I don't have to arm and disarm a device, okay? And that's, that's one of the good things that I really like about this system. Now, what's really cool is, is if I take this key out of this golf cart with this key fob, and I walk away from it, it is now motion activated and it's armed. And so if somebody goes over there and shakes that golf cart, moves that golf cart, they push it on a trailer, they do anything. When you activate that device, it gives you a phone number and that phone number will call you. And so I have that phone number set up as my golf cart. Okay, for example. So right now, if you were to go shake that golf cart, my phone is going to continue to ring until I answer it and it says golf cart alarm is what I program that number to. Um, you know, it's not something you got to pay for every month. I think you get the device actually Bluetooth to your phone and you can add 
and it's got its own LTE card and everything. And like I said, it's got its own battery. You add to it and, and basically I can force to track it even if the key was left in it. So if the key was left in it, I can force to track it and find it and it'll send me up to date information on that. But if you do take the key out and the fobs out, the minute somebody touches it, you're getting that phone call. You're gonna know somebody's moving it, you know, something. I have left it out and if I've had the key out of it, every once in a while I get a thunderstorm, it'll call me because, you know, the, the thunder will set the motion off. That's the only downside that I've really found, but I like the motion part of it for sure because it's something that's thoughtless, right? You walk back over here to the golf cart, put the key back in it, get on it, drive around, you never even know it's there. And so I would say that's the primary device. And you know, you just need to think about what devices, you know, how much value something has, you, you know, yeah, everything's insured, but you know, if something gets stolen, you're only gonna get X amount of dollars for it. You're not gonna get all your accessory money back out of it. Plus, you can't even buy the vehicle to replace it today, right? So it's very important to be able to recover that, to find it, and the sooner you can do that. And having those things is what makes it a lot quicker, right? On a, like my Can-Am here, for example, um, some of the things I've got on it, same thing, right? Got an air tag in it. I'm gonna know if the air tag's moving, I can tell that. Also have the Monomoto device, okay? So if you look right here on my lanyard, there it is. I walk away from this Can-Am, it is motion activated. Same thing's gonna happen. Somebody gets in that Can-Am, there's motion, there's any kind of movement, and it senses it, it's gonna give me a phone call. It says Can-Am alarm programmed to that number. That phone number stays same, it's assigned to that GPS unit, and it's buried. Good luck finding it. I mean, if somebody even tries to get on it and starts taking stuff apart to find it, it's gonna be going off, and I'm gonna know where it's at. So, you know, a lot of benefit to knowing when it's happening in, in the moment. And, uh, you know, like I said, don't put your devices together. You know, if you got an air tag, put it somewhere easier to find. You run a secondary device like this, you make it harder to find. And then having that secondary device on its own system is what's important, you know. On Can-Ams, it's just so easy because, you know, the ignition switch is, is basically pretty easy and then you know like i said somebody wants to roll on a trailer and steal it they can do that too i've got a few things on the can-am that i do extra and i'll show you what that is um you can have this added from the dealer and this is called a dss key it's like the jet ski it's a program module okay so if you put this key in right now and it's like i said it's not calling me there's no issues because it's just thoughtless monomoto knows that it, the key fob is here but if I don't put the DSS on and I turn this on, right there. So even if they go buy a $20 key switch and they pop that plug off and plug it in on a new key switch, it's not gonna start. You have to have this module right here. When you plug this onto the DSS module, that chip with the ECM, you see it? It says normal key, it will start. So primary, secondary, and I guess the third device also, now, another thing that works really well that I do on the k and the golf cart that's pretty easy to do, you know, if we're somewhere in a park or we're doing something, I take two of these master lock cable ties. And what I'll do is you run it through the wheel, you wrap it around the A-arms, and uh, you put two or three of these on there, and you run it through the wheel and you wrap it around the A-arms, it takes maybe three to four minutes to put that on, you know. Um, my peace of mind at nighttime is, I know that it's wrapped, you know. Can these be cut off? Sure, they can. Um, they're gonna make some noise cutting them off though, for sure. It's not easy. So definitely some good deterrent you can put on your stuff to keep it from getting stolen. Even in your vehicles that have these tracking devices, I mean, don't don't take for granted. I mean, when they when they steal those things these days, they disable them. So, you know, if you really like your asset, you really want to make sure that you have control of it and you're in public places, um, just some things that you can think about, some things you can do. Um, you know, the easy tag, I mean, even like the little scooters, the little nine bot scooters right here, we leave those out. Um, you know, I run air tags in them, but literally what I do is I disassemble them. You've got to take the scooter almost completely apart to get that air tag out. So 
even if it's going off, I'm gonna know where it is. Somebody's really gonna have to go out of their way to uh, disable that device, right? So anyway, just wanted to give you some options that are available to you um, for theft deterrent. And uh, appreciate you watching the video today. If you get a chance, please hit that like and subscribe. If you've got a Can-Am, the DSS system is, I, mean, I think it's like 200 bucks and it takes a dealer maybe an hour to program it. It's worth its weight in gold, especially if you put good money in a Can-Am and uh, you wanna try to protect your investment. So please hit that like, please hit that subscribe. We'll catch you on the next video.